everybody. Today is Tuesday, August 16th, 2022 in San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, behind me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom-built to cross oceans. What I'm working on today are some support beams for this arched center deck panel here. So I started with a uh, template like this. I kind of guessed at the shape just by eyeballing it. And then I hot glue on these uh, little tabs to get the exact distance to the uh, bottom of the panel here. And with that, I've made these two support beams. Now you can see the fore deck here. And just as the fore deck has a support structure, underneath it to give it additional strength. We're going to continue that aft here on this arch deck panel I installed in the last video. So I've cut out of foam two of these support beams for this panel. You can see how one will fit here on the starboard side and the other will go over here on the port side. Now I'm going to make templates for two more to go here. So I've squeezed in this Frankenstein kind of template and I'm just going to start gluing on pieces. It's not glued or taped in place or anything, it's just, just held in by its own pressure. And of course I'm just using my hot glue gun for this. There we go, got a perfect template. Then I just transfer my new template to my PVC foam core, label the front and which side it is, and then cut it out with a utility knife. prepped and ready to go. We got the foam core, fiberglass, peel ply. Let's do it. using the utility knife to clean up the edges of these support beams. Uh, I just wanted to pause a minute to explain what my uh, reasoning is for strengthening the structure with these support beams. But somebody asked me like why don't you just 
add more fiberglass to the panels that are there or use a thicker core. And I use this uh, footstool from upstairs as an example. So same reasoning that this footstool, which says it can handle 330 pounds, um, uses this method. It, they've got a, a structural grid in here of basically support beams. Same like a deck behind somebody's house has floor joists. They could have just made this strong enough to hold 330 pounds by making this plastic much thicker. But the problem is, of course, you add a lot of weight and you add a lot more expense. Well, it's the same for me. Um, increasing the thickness of the fiberglass would add too much weight and a lot of expense. And the foam core also is really expensive. That wouldn't really add too much weight, but it would be really expensive for me. But by adding these support beams, I can really strengthen the whole structure and it doesn't cost me too much more money. By utilizing a beam to increase the distance between these tension and compression forces, I increase the load that the structure can handle. All right, my preparation work is all done, and man, I am not a fan of all the prep that goes into these little fiddly pieces. You can see here all the fiberglass I've laid out, and it can take a couple hours to prepare all this stuff because, for example, this seam requires two pieces of cloth, and so it's 32 individual pieces. So I've done all the prep for both sides, port and starboard, four pieces but right now I'm just going to do two pieces on the port side so as to not take on too much at once. I've just finished all that work and everything turned out excellent. I'm really glad I made the decision to only do the port side first instead of trying to do both sides. I know that would have taken a couple hours and it just gets really tiring working upside down, you know. Big thank you to all my Patreon members. If you join Patreon, you get to see the videos one day early. Also, I've loaded up the Amazon wish list with a few more items, so if you want to see some piece of hardware on here and know that you contributed it to the project, head on over there, link in the description. Also, check out my Facebook page. Just search for Ocean Capable Small Sailboat or use the link in the description. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one.